Hi, this is Instructional Development at UC Santa Barbara. This video is how to get your students to do the reading. Did you know that one of the biggest reasons students don't do the reading is because they don't know how we want them to read? For example, to one student, do the reading might mean taking detailed notes, while to another it means reading a textbook as if it's a novel. When I want my students to read before class interactions, I ask myself three questions. Question one, how are we going to use the readings during class interaction? For example, will we go into depth on examples in the chapter using some check-in questions? Or deconstruct tricky arguments as a whole group? Or apply the theory to new situations in small groups? By making my teaching strategies apparent, I can answer question two. How do I want my students to engage with the reading to prepare for class interactions? Do I want them to recognize the meanings of new vocabulary so I don't have to review it before I delve into the examples? Or compare perspectives from various authors so we can get right into deconstructing tricky arguments? Or outline a theoretical framework so they can try solving problems with it in small groups? Once I know how I want my students to engage with the reading before class interactions, I can answer question three. How will I make doing the reading meaningful for the students? Students want to know that I believe preparing for class is important in the overall scheme of the course, but they feel more motivated by work that teaches them to read like experts read, work that has clear connections to class activities and that allows them to practice in ways that keeps them on track. When I first started teaching, answering these questions meant two very overwhelming things to me, coming up with interesting reading homework and more grading. I wasn't sure what to do, so I reached out to my siblings who were elementary school teachers and dealt with homework all the time. My sister taught me to make standard reading guide questions that I could reuse any time I wanted my students to engage in a certain type of reading task. Then my brother gave me this advice. Homework is a great place for students to practice and make mistakes. Let them work together on it and give them points for completing it, not for right answers. Not only did these bits of advice save me time, they helped me teach students how I wanted them to engage with the reading in preparation for class interactions. And that brings me full circle back to question one. So the next time you find that your students aren't preparing for class interactions, begin by answering these three questions and then come get advice from instructional development on how to make it work for your class. Thanks for watching.